Now we take the spring out. Be careful because the spring is very springy. And there were four screws holding it down. So now we got this piece. Take out the four screws there. One there. One there. One there. I believe you're supposed to have one in that hole. And I just don't have it. <coughs> but. T10? T10. You notice those three are longer than the four. I took off the cover plate and also longer than the four in the neck. Longer than the four in the neck as well. I'm gonna try to speed this part up for you guys that don't wanna sit through it.
pressure of the spring, but you also want to hold it because it's going to go flying. Hold this guy, pull this guy apart. I lift it up and unlock it and as you can see I'm holding it down so it doesn't spin out of control until it releases and if also while that's taking place if you look at the bottom side that piece sticks up yeah. that's what it holds us all together and I'm sure if we look in here We'll see our missing four ounce, and that's the underside of the One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> so that's the inside. I know most, most of us have it hasn't seen the inside before. It's your roller and your follower. This is the whole key. These travel on the inside of these grooves. Let's just place right up there, which the head of the bullet slides as it goes along all the way around. Until 50 rounds. The cool thing about this piece is what I'm doing is just trying to turn it. As you load your 50 rounds in, of course those will be standing up because of the grooves on the top. But as you load your 50 rounds in, it goes around this little track. And as it goes around the track, your rollers and your following. This little metal piece, if you can see, goes all the way around. All the way around. That's really cool. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I have to press this in. So you get this to twist free, free. You press it in. I like to just pull it very delicately, not to break anything. And twist it all the way around into the to the actual magazine part of the drum. So it looks like that. All right. <coughs> Move my actual 50 rounds up. You guys know how expensive 9 millimeter is. So you don't want to leave those in there. Um, now in here is the actual spring which I really hate to bother. But if you guys ever get that done just comment below and I'll help you with that too. But that is a pain in the butt. So what you got to